Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for February 28th, March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Now, you know that I'm going to use my Radley Valentine. This is the Monday through Thursday reading, so I'm going to use my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards, and then I will pull one from my Guardian Angels. Then I will pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. I am going to be using my tarot cards, my, uh, what is it, Weight Rider tarot cards, and I may pull one from my Osho Zen tarot also. But this will be, these two decks will only be for the introduction, which this is, this is just what's going on in this crazy old world introduction. And for your individual sign, just go to the little timestamp that I put down there and you can bypass the introduction, okay? But if you can bypass, if I can speak. Anyway, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. So we're entering into March season. March is going to be quite interesting, especially that week of... I think it's the week of the 14th. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on there. Um, I will try to post that. I have to kind of do a little bit of a write-up, but I, I, we have the Ides of March on the 15th. Um, we have a full moon. What is that on the 18th? And that will be in Virgo. So that will have some stabilizing effect. Um, we're also going to have, um, we're going to be ushering in right when we go from Pisces into Aries. We will be going into the equinox for the northern hemisphere. That's the spring. Southern hemisphere. That's the fall. That is when light and day are are in an equal. You know, are equal. That is also when the veil between this world and that, um, you know, is very very thin. So, and we have something else going on. The, um, so we have the 15th I talked about. Something's going on the 16th and 17th. I'm not quite sure. Oh, we do have. Um, we do have. St. Patrick's Day, so that's an interesting energy at the same time. And something's going on the 16th, too, that I, I just have to kind of refresh my memory a little bit. So we've got some interesting energies going on that week. So put that week aside. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you not to make vacation plans. I'm just going to say just be aware. Anyway, um, I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message and just let's see where we're going. Remember too, we are the we are light workers. We are the ones that counter a lot of the darkness that's going on. So do not be afraid of what it is going on. I know there's a lot, you know, a lot of stuff and it's very hard not to um, buy into fear. But the thing is when we buy into fear or when we allow fear to enter us, and I fear sometimes, you know, gets us motivated to make some changes. So I'm not saying that it's not always, you know, it does not always help help us. But if we allow it to um, bring us into depression or bring us into um, just a state of hopelessness, that keeps us from doing what we are meant to do. And what we're meant to do is help to balance that out and equalize that darker energy with our light. Okay, so just know that. Uh, many of us are star seeds, light workers, um, healers, energy workers, and that's why you have come here. Okay, so yeah, I've told you to that I you have prayed, meditated, infused the decks with Reiki energy. Um, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. And then the last thing, well, not the last thing, but something before we end, before we go into the readings is March 2nd is the time is the time of the new moon it will be a new moon in pisces it does start a new season um, it is a time remember full moon to new moon is when you get rid of things it's waning new moon to full moon is waxing it's getting bigger and that's when you request the new moon start is a wonderful time to start new projects remember this is pisces season it is the ending of an astrological year and, you know, so this new moon does go, you know, this new moon with Pisces does go into some of the darker areas, the depths, to help to bring them to the light. Okay? Okay, so new moon request. Request, request, request. Um, let's go on. Let's see what we also have. And if anything does come to mind, I'll let you know. Okay. Remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Please get the videos to other people. Even if you just 
put on the playlist and just go and do something else, you know, it does help. So thank you very, very much. It helps to keep me going. It helps to keep me, um, you know, basically doing what I'm doing. And you all have supported me so, so much. And I do, I want to thank you for that. I really, really do. Uh, next week, I hope that my schedule does, you know, does stabilize a little bit. I don't think it will possibly the week afterwards. Again, do not be in fear. And I feel like we need to go ahead and just do one of the OSHA Zen Tarot cards right here. Um, remember, okay, and you want to come out. Okay, remember OSHA Zen Tarot is more like advice cards. Anything reversed has stronger energies. And if we get a lot of the um, earth, I mean, get a lot of the energies itself, you know, air, fire, um, air, fire, earth and water. I'll talk a little bit about what that is too. Watch the numbers. First card is, okay, so that is reversed. We do have a four. Four has stabilization. It does have uh, leadership. It does have organization. This is just one of those pissy moments. This is just one of those, what the heck is going on here? I don't like where I'm at. This is the card that I, this is the four of cups. Cups is our water energy. It is Pisces. Again, we're in Pisces season. It is also, you know, we're going to be into that Pisces new moon. And it is also Scorpio and Cancer. Fluid, very emotional, very spiritual too. And this is just, this is kind of a season of discontent. I call this the in-between card. And any of the cards that come up, you know, um, Raph, yeah, Raphael is water in one of the decks. And also there's just water. Any of those cards, I call this the in-between. This is... Also, this is kind of like wait and see. It's just, but we don't take it well. We're just not taking it well. So here's these three cups. We're looking at these three cups, or he's looking at these, these three cups, and he's like, I don't like you. This is not where I want to be. You're not satisfying me. Here out of the divine is this hand out of a cloud offering another solution. And yet, I don't know if you're just not, or just we are just not ready to see that. Or it's just, no, you know, I just get this in-between type of energy with this. It's just, and it also has a wait and see, wait and see, wait and see. But it's also, I feel very discontented as we wait and see. Next card is, okay, so now we have a nine. Nine has a completion energy to it. We've got everything we need. So let's wrap it up. Let's do this. But this is swords. Swords is our... Um, Gemini, our Libra, it's our Aquarius, it's our thought processes, it's our hearing news. It's, you know, it, it has um, flowing thought energy. You know, I kind of have my little electrical thing going on or whatever that is. It might be a cellular thing too, but it's kind of like things are in flux. But the Nine of Swords is really saying to you, you know, it's really, and you know, I don't know if it's you per se, but the world, it's just like, oh my gosh, what's happening? What's happening? You know, it's sleepless nights. It's not having a good, it's not having good thoughts. It's not hearing good news. It's just sleepless nights. What is going on? What is going on? The thing about this card is what we see is not really what is happening. So let it go if you're able to. I'm not saying that thing, that people do not um, have bad things happening to them, or that bad things won't be happening this week, per se. Bad things will always be happening. We always have good things. We always have bad things. But this, you know, this has a, things are an illusion right now, okay? This is, again, and I know, that dang old, and I said dang, that dang old Saturn in Aquarius, illusion versus reality. Now, the good news is, is I think around the fourth or fifth, some of the things that are in Capricorn, I think Mars and Venus, um, will be going into Aquarius energy, and I think that will be very positive. So, but right now, so we're discontented, we're just having sleepless nights, we're just like, oh my gosh, what's going on? A lot of it is an illusion. You know, um, my husband has a, a saying, basically, um, you know, believe half of what you see and nothing yet that you hear. Okay, let's go on to our next card. And now again, reversed. Were they all reversed? Okay, anyway, eight. Eight has unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. This is, you know, again, we do have that, even though it's a new moon for, for 
Pisces. I talked about that full moon with Leo going forward, so we do have that. This is, feels like this is the culmination, especially around that new moon. It's like the new moon Pisces is kind of like, you know, hidden things coming up, but this has that full moon, you know, kind of like, okay, now we're 14 days past the full moon. Get your gear on. Get your strength on. Get your armor on. Get your prayer stuff going, okay? So because this is a major arcana card, and this is all about strength. Be strong. Be strong of, you know, if you can be strong physically, but the thing is, it doesn't necessarily mean physical. We have a very strong, we have a very, um, very powerful uh, spiritual energy that we need to just really stand tall, stand together, and with that, there is strength in numbers, okay? So this is be strong through this time, be strong through this week. So let's go on and see. So yeah, the week, eh, you know what? We've been through worse. We, we, will be, we will be through better. And this is just one of those weeks to, you know, just kind of take some breaths, meditate, connect with higher power, you know, listen to your spiritual guides a lot. I do get kind of a four of um, four of swords energy. It's time for us to rest a little bit, but yet at the same time, the strength card is saying there's part of us that needs to rest from, and I think it's resting from the um, from the chaos, chaotic energy going on. But part of us also needs to be extremely strong during this week. Okay, this is the card that kind of came out from Osha Zen Tarot, and like I said, a lot of times this is advice card. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We are the world, so standing together. This is another major arcana. This is uh, the wheel of fate. This is the wheel. This is things are moving forward. But again, this is, again, we need to stand together. We need to be in support of each other. We need to, you know, in many ways, hold hands, dance, raise our vibrations, raise the vibrations of the earth. So if we're meeting people, if we're going to the store, if we're going out and we're meeting people that are like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, you know, this is a beautiful day, let's just have a wonderful day, okay? Um, you know, I mean, you know that, you know, that, you know, and again, your spiritual beliefs are your spiritual beliefs, but there's a lot of things that we do connect with. And every day I try to say, you know, to people that are dear to me and close to me, you know, again, again, this is your spiritual beliefs. Um, try to see if this can adapt. But I always say, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it because, you know, the alternative isn't as much fun. So we have the world. We have faith. Things will be moving forward. Things will be changing. We just have to get through this. Stand together. Stand tall. And, you know, I kind of got this thing as I was just getting ready. Hold on to your hats. Okay. We will get through this. So again, remind you to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, and let's start our readings now.